everyone, welcome to Melda242. I am Rimelda and today I will be preparing for you a Bahamian buttered pound cake. If you want to see how this is prepared, then continue watching. Here are the ingredients that you would need for this cake. Okay, let's begin. Right now I'm going to add three cups of flour, all-purpose flour, into the sieve just to loosen it up a bit. Three cups. Two. Three, okay, three cups. To that, I'm going to add one third cup of baking powder. Okay, this scoop that I'm using, this represents one third of a cup. Okay. So I'm just gonna allow that to pass through the sieve just to loosen the flour up. Make the case, cake nice and fine. Just like so. Okay, that's the flour and the baking powder. Now the butter. I have three sticks of softened, room temperature, Lando Lakes butter. Now I, this is an opinion now, I feel that the Lando, Lando Lakes butter is better because I tried another one the other day and it didn't come out, it didn't do justice. Even though it advertised that it's better for baking, but man, never again. I would stick to what I know. So I'm just gonna cream this up before adding the sugar. This butter is super soft. Okay, now the sugar. I need one and a, one and a third cup of sugar. This scoop again, this represents one third of a cup. So I'm gonna need three of those to make one cup and then one more to make a third cup. So that'll be one whole cup and a third. So that's four cups, four scoops. One third, excellent. Cream this up. Now I'm gonna cream this until you cannot see the sugar in the butter and you wouldn't be able to hear it. So it's just going to be nice and smooth. That's just the butter and the sugar. Okay, that should do it. Give the bowl a nice scraping. A little bit more. I just want to make, make sure that it's well blended. Now the eggs. I have six large eggs. They are also room temperature. So I would be adding them in one at a time. Add, mix, add, mix. 
until I add every one of them. As I add the eggs, just watch the temp um, the well, just watch the texture of the butter. It's gonna get extremely fluffy. Just like that. Look at it. Fluffy. Smooth. That's what you're looking for. That's the halfway mark. That's three eggs in already. Pound cake calls for a lot of eggs. Six eggs. Number four. The last one. This looks like the flowers already in it. This is just the sugar, butter, and the egg. That's it. Scrape the bowl down. Okay. You don't want any egg on the sides. Make sure everything is incorporated. Now it's time for the flavors. I have some almond extract. So I'll be using one tablespoon of that as well as the vanilla flavor, flavoring. One, tea, one tablespoon of that. That's a tablespoon. Same thing for the vanilla, tablespoon of this. Okay. Oh my, that smells great. This is the real thing. Scraping, scrape it again. Make sure everything is mixed. Nice and fluffy. Look at it, creamy. This is it. And the mixer is on medium. Now I'm adding a quarter cup of carnation evaporated milk. One quarter of a cup. Okay, just 
wipe that egg up. Now it's time for the flour. I'm bringing it home right now. Remember this is three cups of flour and one third cup of baking powder. So I just would be spooning this flour into the mixture. One spoon at a time. Flour mix, flour mix. Just as I did with the eggs. A little bit at a time. Almost done with the flour. Don't need to scraping, okay. Clean that up first. Last bit of flour. Okay. Now I'm going to scrape it up, clean up the edges. Make sure everything is mixed together. Clean that off. The trick of uh, mixing a pound cake is to mix it well, so that it can be fine. The longer you mix it, the finer the cake would be. Everything would be together. You don't have to worry about all of the holes in it. Nice and steady. That looks right. Just like that. Nice and smooth. That's how it should look. Oh my word. It looks like softened ice cream. taste. All right, that's it. This is smooth.
that's it. It's ready for the pan. That's what I'm talking about. This is Bahamian butter pound cake. Okay, I'm just going to prepare the pans. I'm just trying them out. Now I'm adding the palm to the pan. Putting some palm spray. Okay. Palm in the pan. All right, it's ready to go. I'm making two out of this batch because I want a lot of cake. One would go too fast, so it wouldn't last. So making two, two loaves. Okay. Everyone, everybody loves my pound cake. That's some good stuff going in there. I can tell you that. Get all of that goodness out of that bowl. All right. My oven is already preheated, 325 degrees. So I'm going to put these in for about an hour, 20 minutes. Let it cool and then we can enjoy. Okay, now I'm just going to run this spatula through it just like this, just to take out the bubbles. Just like that. Release the bubbles. And I'm gonna hit it down just like that. On the countertop. Ready for the oven. All right, on the middle rack. Okay, this is the first check after 35 minutes. Now we can go a little longer. Almost there. It's soft in the middle. Oh yeah. Definitely. There you have it. Bahamian butter pound cake. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, share, Please leave a comment at the bottom. Thanks again for watching. God bless you and I will see you in the next one.